This is one of the keychain cams. This is an 808 version 6. Version 2, so an 808 16 Mark II. This is the one that has the 120 degree wide angle lens on it and records onto a micro SD card in high definition. The big advantage with this one, it actually does video out from the side port, which means you can use it for FPV. So as you're recording, you can fly. Now, the reason I got this is that um, I wanted to be able to record from my FPV equipment and the way I've been doing it up to now is using one of these things um, bought from Hobby King, it's an SD card recorder um, runs off 12 volts so you can run it off a 3S battery which is what I do here and you plug it into the goggles at the back and um, as soon as you turn this little guy on it starts recording onto the SD card it's fine but it's really bulky the other way I do it is I have a GoPro Hero 3 uh, this is a smashing little camera um, but it's very expensive and I'm always worried when I'm flying with this thing on a model that I'm going to have a little hiccup and it's going to smash 200 pounds worth of camera into the floor so this thing was about 27 pounds from our friends in China from eBay and um, it seems to do a good job however when I got it I plugged it into the FPV rig and couldn't get any video out of it and started to panic a little bit because it's always interesting returning product to China. But um, figured out you actually have to do a couple of things and change configuration files on these guys to make them work in the way you want to. So this is a video I'm just going to show you what you need to do in order to uh, change the bits and pieces. So we'll have a look at the software and we'll have a look at the process and using the process you can actually change the settings in this to be whatever you need it to be in terms of the resolution whether or not it loops or not and do other bits and pieces this might look familiar to those of you who subscribe to me because the internals are very similar to um, this little guy this is the um, little camera that I made to go underneath the heli guy viper it's essentially um, an earlier lower res version of the camera and I suppose if I really wanted to I could do it with this as well but as this is going on much larger quads and models I'm going to keep it in this case so first thing that we need to think about is you to turn it on and off let me just show you how this works there's only two buttons that actually do anything ignore the ones at the bottom this powers it on and this takes a photo so if we power it on, you hold it and press it, that's now powered on. Let's take the lens cap off. To start recording, you press the top button. Now it's recording. To stop recording, you press the top button again. Now, the reason the light stays on here is because I, in the settings, have actually liked to have confirmation that the unit's on. Normally, uh, when you press the start button, it actually um, goes off once it's flashed a couple of times. Now, if you press the record button again, there we are, it's recording, and press power button briefly, it'll take a still image. And if we press stop, there we go. So, to power it off, you press and hold the power button, and it'll go off. There we go. So, power button and that um, start and stop recording button there at the top. Now, what you have to do here is one of the things that you do before you plug it into the computer to configure it is you have to make sure there's a card plugged into the um, camera and you press the top button, the on off button first, and then you press the second button, so you're pressing them both together, and you hold it for a period of seconds and eventually the light will go out. Now what it's actually doing here is writing a configuration file into the root drive of the um, of the card and you need that file on here so that when you plug it into the computer the software can see what the settings are for the camera figure out what the firmware version is and be ready to update and write the settings back. So now we've done that what we'll do is we'll plug a cable in the side We'll plug this into the PC and we'll have a look at the software. So the first thing that you have to do is actually download the software. So you download it from this address, 
which is www.mytempfiles.info slash nr16 slash index.html. I'll put that link at the bottom of the screen here so you can see it. What you do is you download the zip file and then you unpack that zip file onto the desktop. Now I've already done that. So here it is, sat on the desktop, ready to rock and roll. What I'll do though is I'll plug the camera into the computer using that USB cable. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the camera on. So the camera's connected. And if we actually look at the files on the card in the camera, you'll see as well as the DCIM folder, there's also this file called System Configs, SYSCFG. If I just copy that to the desktop for now, we can have a quick look at that. And in here is all of the details and the settings. And remember, to get this, what we did is we held the shutter button and, and then we held the power button and we kept them held for about 10 seconds until the light went off. The, here's all the different pieces. So for example, you can see TV out for me is set to NTSC. I was actually playing with PAL and NTSC to see how big it was in the um, in the screen on the receiver. And um, you can see other bits and pieces. Now to change stuff, what you do is you run the NR16 setup application. You select the camera because it can see it because it's looking at that config file. It'll ask you whether or not you want to use the config file and you just say just use plug and play and remove the config file because actually we're not bothered about that we just wanted to use it so the application knew the camera was there and here's all the settings so for example I've got the sync the date and time with the PC I don't have the timestamp on the display I find it distracting motion detect and bothered all that rubbish um, auto record is off and this is the one that you had to do by default on mine TV video out was turned to off now I changed that so that it was on, but oddly you have to um, unselect it, and I chose it as widescreen NTSC, and um, in here you can also change the recording settings, see the recording indicator is set to on for me, I like to see that light confirming that the machine, it's actually running, rotate video 180 degrees, if you're going to mount it upside down on a model, you can click it there. And again, you've got advanced image settings, so the saturation and the actual um, color options you can set all in here. So when you've done all that, what you do is you click Write Data to Drive. It updates the settings on the camera, comes up with a smiley face, says you've done it, and you click OK. So now we can unplug the camera. And next time we power it on, it'll power on with those new settings. Hopefully that's useful for those of you who are looking at this camera for FPV and can't get the video out to work or want to change some of the bits and pieces. Please comment and post any questions you might have and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.